today we are going to discuss the various features of different hobs and uh, how you can look at them and figure out uh, which one is more suited for you so the few features that uh, you can look into uh, and you can figure out if they are okay with your cooking styles are basically the number of burners the types of burners the types of pan supports that they have uh, the other kinds of classification that we're going to go into are basically uh, inbuilt hobs and uh, auto ignition hobs or uh, hobs with electrical source for ignition we've also done a similar video on chimneys uh, so that you know you can understand the entire package of a hob and a chimney and which ones will suit you so we've left a link for that above and you can check it out too so as you can see a uh, hob is the heat source of the kitchen and uh, it needs to be selected uh, keeping in mind the cuisine that you are going to make most of the time in your house so generally if you're going to go for let's say asian cuisine or indian cuisine which sometimes require a lot of oil and fried uh, fried cooking that generally requires a little different kinds of hob a little different types of designs as compared to the ones which are generally just sauteed or pan fried and you know uh, where the heat is not used uh, so extensively in the cooking so the two kinds are generally uh, the ones which have uh, brass burners and the ones that have sabaf burners which are basically uh, signal, single uh, ignition flames uh, which basically have like a ring on top of it so as you can see uh, the sabaf burners generally are meant for cooking which does not require a very high amount of heat uh, they require a heat for longer periods of time on a medium to somewhat high level but not too intense so generally not very good for frying of foods not very good for you know puris and bhajis and all that stuff uh, so generally if you guys are a fan of that and that's a staple cuisine you might find that uh, uh, the sabaf burners take quite a bit of time as compared to the brass burners brass burners are basically meant uh, to make sure that there's a maximum amount of heat in it and uh, the cooking happens much more faster so for indian style cooking at least the north indian style cooking you can say uh, yeah the brass burners uh, work out pretty well and the second aspect that you need to make sure is the the pan support so apart from the brass burners the hobs basically have supports on which you can put your utensils now the cooking utensils are basically over here the flat bottoms ones which are the pans and the round bottom one which are you know our kadhais our pots sometimes our cookers also tawas so these pan supports are basically of uh, two types one they are made of one of them are made of metal sheets now these are somewhat thin and uh, they might tend to be a little uh, imbalanced if you are going to cook a lot of volume of food on top of it it might become a little unstable because they are a little thin the other one are basically of cast iron or wrought iron material these are much more heavy much more durable and a premium look is also over there for them uh, these are generally meant for heavy cookings so you can have you know your kadhais and tawas you can make a good amount of uh, curry in it very easily and uh, yeah it, it, the, the curry won't move here and there when you are cooking here we have uh, two hobs they are both actually sabaf burners as you can see from the design over here uh, the thing that i like to draw your attention towards are the the plate holders so these are the ones that are made from metal as you can see they are pretty slim they are somewhat shaky at times because they are light weight so yeah they are not exactly uh, very ideal for any the ones over here they are actually uh, made of uh, iron material cast iron and uh, these are much more heavy more stable uh, and they're able and it's much more convenient to actually you know, cook large volumes of food in like a kadai uh, in a better way on this kind of plate holder apart from that the other obvious ways of uh, classifying hobs are the amount of the number of burners so they can they vary from 3 4 5 and they go up till 6 generally 6 burners is it's quite a big number and uh, it is required in kitchens which are generally with has a joint family and a lot of cooking needs to be done at the same time uh, 
otherwise four to five burners are pretty much decent enough for a nuclear family and uh, works well for them another few ways in which there are different kinds of hobs are which are inbuilt which they actually go into the slab and there are others which are on the countertop uh, which you can place it on the slab and also there are a few hobs which come with auto ignition they actually require some kind of a battery or a electrical source connection so that you don't need to have a lighter to uh, put on the gas i generally recommend this uh, they are pretty neat and generally no accidents ever occur and very convenient uh, so yeah these are the other two bases on which you can classify the hobs and uh, in the first part i explained uh, the various ways the various features that you need to look for a hob based upon uh, your type of cooking style thank you for watching the video i hope it was helpful and if you want an expert to design your kitchen or some more help in the interiors there are contact details below do contact us and thanks again like and subscribe